Hey, my dear data friends, it's Nicola from Data Mozart. Last week, we touched upon first stage of data modeling process, which is called conceptual data modeling. Now, today, I want to introduce to a next stage of data modeling process, which is called logical data modeling. Stay tuned. Once business and data teams align on the conceptual data model, the next step in the data modeling process is designing a logical data model. In this stage, we are building upon the previous step by identifying the exact structure of the entities and providing more details about the relationships between these entities. In this stage, you should identify all the attributes of interest for the specific entity as well as relationship cardinality. Please pay attention that, same as during the conceptual data modeling phase, we still don't talk about the specific platform or solution. Like in the previous stage, our focus is on understanding business requirements and how these requirements can be efficiently translated into a data model. There are several steps to be performed to ensure that the conceptual data model successfully evolved into a logical data model. Identify entity attributes. Identify candidate keys, meaning find out which attribute or set of attributes uniquely identify a specific entity. Choose primary keys. Based on the findings from the previous step, set the primary key of the entity. Apply normalization or denormalization to the data model. We will discuss normalization and denormalization in more detail in one of the next modules. At this moment, Keep in mind that normalization should eliminate data redundancy and is typical for OLTP systems, which we previously examined. On the other hand, denormalization is predominantly used in analytical systems, or OLAP, to minimize the impact of join operations and speed up data reading. Set relationships between entities. Validate how various entities interconnect and, if needed, Reduce the complexity of having multiple relationship dependencies by breaking down one entity into multiple entities. Identify the relationship cardinality. Another extremely important step. Relationship cardinality defines how many instances of one entity are related to instances of another entity. There are three main cardinality types. One-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many. -many. Iterate and fine-tune. In real life, it's almost impossible to find a data model that suits everyone's needs and fulfills all the requirements immediately. Therefore, it's of key importance to always ask for feedback from business stakeholders and, based on the feedback received, fine-tune the logical data model before materializing it in physical form. Unlike conceptual data model, where the benefits of investing time and effort in building it were not so obvious. I believe that for logical data model, potential gains are more evident. First of all, the logical data models serves as the best quality assurance test because it can enclose gaps and issues in understanding the business workflow, thus saving you a lot of time and effort down the road. It's much easier and less costly to fix these issues at this stage before locking into a specific platform and building an inefficient physical data model on it. As we've already mentioned, one of the key characteristics of a good logical data model is that iteration and fine-tuning are continuous processes. Therefore, building a logical data model can be considered part of the agile data modeling cycle, which ensures more robust, scalable, and future-proof models. The ultimate benefit of the logical data model is that it serves as a blueprint for the final implementation of the business logic through the physical data model. Relying on well-designed logical data model enables database engineers and data architects to create more efficient physical database systems. I sincerely hope you again learned something useful today. If that was the case, please make sure to click this like button down below. Also, if you want to stay up to date and see the final part of this Fundamentals of Data Modeling series of videos, make sure to subscribe to Data Monster channel. See you next Friday!